Take responsibility for yourself. Exercise your self-motivation and self-determination. Practice free enterprise in your holistic home office. Avoid selfish ambition, which is the dark side of human nature. Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. Good morning, Earthlings. So I made a video yesterday, or I tried to make a video yesterday, a pretty big, complicated, with lots of different parts in it, and it wouldn't render, and KDNY wouldn't render it, so I'm going to have to work on it part-time, you know, like uh, work on it. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll rent, work sections of it and then render it and then put the sections apart, kind of like in a two-tiered system because there are several different sections and uh, see if I can get it to work that way. I got everything here, all the, everything's in the folder, you know, so it's, I still got everything, but I just got to kind of start over from scratch, but that's okay. And uh, so I thought I would just talk about that. And it's kind of disappointing all that, that work this weekend. I didn't, don't have anything to post. I need to make a blog post anyway. Um, building uh, your, your your storytelling business is a, it's a business. You know, it's, it's work. You got to work. Sometimes it's frustrating, you know, and so just keep working. Don't, don't stop. Keep working. You, you got to work within, you know, I still have to go to, to work. You know, I thought that's what I was thinking about work. At work, at my job, you know, I, I work pretty hard. I, I don't do a lot of, you know, like a lot of people I see that them working really hard not to work. And I'm going like, what? Why would anybody want to do that? That is so boring, you know. What I want to do, I want to get them a high performance, whatever it is I'm doing. At my job, I want to be a high performance employee. And so I work. And I, it's good exercise. It's good physical there's exercise involved. And, and, you know, and productivity increased, you know. And so, and, you know, trying to be a good example and uh, I'm still the, I'm not actually the low man on the totem pole anymore, but I'm still pretty low on the totem pole. I, I'm not a big fan of any, the social hierarchies anyway. I, you know, that's not my thing. I am more into, you know, working on your own private free enterprise instead of working for in some big giant corporation. You know, but I work for a giant corporation right now and, that's fine, you know, because they do things, giant corporations do things no small business can do, like build jet planes and skyscrapers and things like that. You know, we, you know, we need the big businesses. They're good ideas. Teamwork is a good thing, you know. Be a good teammate uh, and be a high performance. Whatever it is you're doing, be high performance at it. That's uh, my main teaching about working at a job. Or anything, actually, working in your own home office, too. You don't want to be a high performance. Right for now, this summer, my thing has been these videos, you know, and so I'm trying to be a high performance video producer. And now I'm going to, with this one, and it was so spontaneous. I never even, I never thought that that's what I was going to do, is be a video producer. And, uh, you know, because for one thing, I'm not all that you know, presentable, I'm just kind of, you know, just a normal person, I guess, but it's like, uh, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with normal people, that's for sure, but I'm just saying, um, it's just not what I was, you know, I've always thought of myself as a writer, you know, and so I was going to write, and um, you, you know, so be open minded i guess and you know ready you know and to take to seize opportunities and be prepared for you know to
to seize opportunities like this video thing. I just tried one day. I said, I wonder what it would happen if I filmed myself on my phone. And I'm, and I'm going, wow, hey, that works pretty good. And so now I'm making videos and now I'm learning how to use KDN Live and all the other little pieces of software that, you know, and putting all the camera and, and all my pictures. I'm using my pictures to uh, make backgrounds. So that way I can make myself smaller, which is kind of good because I don't particularly care about, you know, another idea I thought about is getting some pretty woman to do it for me or <laughs> do the talking for me but I, that's just you know um just uh you know be a producer and produce good content you know and that's what i'm trying to do and uh you know you can and i teach by precept which is what i say and by example you know i'm showing you what i'm doing i'm, I'm pretty showing i'm Posting these videos that I'm producing are fairly raw, you know. I just set up and tell a story and post it on the the website, you know. Post it on. So right now I'm using YouTube as my main repository. I'm not sure. I I've looked at other ones. The one good one that I like, I was read the user agreement and it said that i i couldn't post it anywhere other than there and i'm going what are you no no that's not okay because i post it on all over where every place i can think of i try to post my videos you know i want them far and wide available far and wide and so i don't know if i misunderstood what it said but it seemed pretty clear to me anyway you know you got to work on that Get your videos out there. Produce your videos. Get get in kind of a system, you know, with the, only being able to work part time on it. You know, it's going to slow you down, but keep working anyway, and just produce every weekend. You can produce another video. You can pr produce a vlog post. Keep your blog post to it like fifteen minutes, so somebody can watch a real short video, you know, on the you know in a short period of time. And then produce your big documentaries about whatever it is you're producing about. You got to kind of focus too. One of the, I notice I tend to ramble a lot, and so work on focusing on a particular topic. Write out down an outline. Write your outline down on a piece of paper that you can look at while you're talking, and use that to guide you through producing your video and making your videos. And then, uh, you know, I'm using, right now I'm using my phone. I'm using KDN Live. I'm using my photographs, which I have thousands of photographs that I've taken with both my phone and my camera. And then I ha I'm using uh, Caligra, you know, the program where you can, presentation software where you can do your presentations. And so I'm using that sometimes and trying to and mixing all that together and, and try to make pretty interesting, you know, valuable, entertaining education and produce as many video, you know, produce a video every week. That's kind of my plan. That's what I recommend, you know, trying it. You know, this is one strategy. You know, it's, everything's going to depend on your circumstances. You know, you want to be as productive as you can. You want to be a very high performance video producer and work on producing your videos and be a high performance, you know, storyteller, a high performance producer, you know, putting all your data, you know, all, all your story, different pieces of your story together into a neat little story, you know. And uh, keep working on that. Keep producing. Go to work and be a high performance employee at your job, whatever that is, and get really good at it and be productive and keep working, you know, and focus on your being, you know, high performance. Whatever it is you're doing, be, you know, the best the high performance, the employee, the high performance, 
video producer, the high performance home office entrepreneur, and build something valuable, produce something valuable and, and trade it in our one worldwide free marketplace. You know, it's, you know, it's all fun to me. It's just keep telling stories is, uh, you know, you've got to find something valuable to, to produce. If you're going to be producing, you know, I'm, I'm kind of into the information. You know, the, my audience may not be, you know, the, you, my audience could be interested in something totally different. And this, but the stories I'm telling are valuable. You know, you, you're going to use these ideas that I'm teaching in, in your own business. Whatever that may be, you may be, you know, doing yard work or real estate, trading houses, you know, is buying houses and fixing them up and selling them, reselling them. You know, you can make good money doing that. You might be a network marketer, you know, get good at that. And, you know, but selling, you know, get good at selling. Storytelling, you know, sales is a, another little storytelling business style of storytelling. You get really good at it. You know, study neurolinguistic programming and things like that and learn how to communicate and study sales and marketing and psychology and business. Get good at creating your business documentation. You know, your, use your calligraphy sheets to create spreadsheets and, and uh, things like that. And get your documentation set up and ready to go when, when you need it. And um, that's probably something I need to really focus on right now because I've thought about that for many years. I've been thinking about that. And, and I have some really super primitive, you know, tr you know, work, products that I've worked on. You know, I mean, not products, but documentation that I've worked on to try to get my business in order. My business plan, I wrote a little bit of a business plan. It could definitely be fleshed out. Same thing with my, uh, you know, for one thing, I haven't made any money, so I don't really have any money to account for. I could be accounting for the money I've spent on this business, which is fairly significant. You know, I buy, I got two computers, I got this phone. I mean, I could be trying to of course, I use out everything for personal use. I, you know, I, my business and my personal life are not really that separate. And you kind of need to do that from what I understand. Everybody says, oh, you got to keep them separate. Okay, fine. That's probably a good idea. Keep your business separate. And I don't, it's, for me, it's not really separate. My business is just part of my personal life. And so we're, think about that and work on getting your, the main thing is work on getting your business documentation in order you need a business plan first of all make note make a list of goals and use that to kind of lead you in your business and then make a business plan write it out you know go to home office studio and read the stories about business planning and write a business plan and then uh Create documentation like your income and expense sheets, your budget. You could write a budget. Start out with the budget um, and things like that. You know, you could start out just start documenting your own personal finances. And then after you do that, then you can build your business documentation. You know, your, your you know, there's just your, I, you know, I like Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant and all that. That's pretty good information to learn about your cash flow and managing your cash flow. You know, your income, expenses, your assets and liabilities, you know. An asset is something that earns income. You buy assets. And assets earn income. Like say, the house you live in is not an asset. That's just the house you live in. It's, it's property. It's valuable, but it's not an asset. An asset is a house that you rent out to somebody else 
and the the rent you receive from it is more than what it costs to maintain it and things like that you know and just learn some financial intelligence increase your financial intelligence so there's my 15 minutes and so i'll let this end here and have a great week and keep producing content and peace be with you